What's going on guys, welcome to my first Doctor Who Series 11 review. Today we're reviewing Episode 1 of Series 11, The Woman Who Fell to Earth. Yes, Doctor Who Series 11 is finally here, um, it came out today. I'm literally recording this about half an hour after I just finished watching the episode, um, and I'm hopefully going to upload it tonight as well, I guess it depends on when you're seeing this. But um, yeah, we finally got Episode 1 of Series 11, we've got, we've got our first full episode with Jodie Whittaker as the 13th Doctor, so, I'm, I'm going to be doing reviews of all the episodes um, of Series 11. I'm definitely going to keep that up, so every week you will have a new review of each episode from me. Um, and yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. So today we're starting off with Episode 1, The Woman Who Fell to Earth. Now, um, like a lot of people, I was a little bit hesitant going into this. Um, we didn't really get to see much of Jodie Whittaker at the end of Twice Upon a Time because she just regenerated, and we literally got to hear her say one word and then she fell out of the TARDIS. Um, so this is the first time we get to properly see her in the role, really, um, and she was good. She was definitely good. Um, it, it's hard to really say, because, well, okay, well, if you can't already tell, we're starting off with, we're going to start off just talking about the cast and that, really, um, mainly Jodie Whittaker, um, and yeah, she was, she was good. It's hard to really, um, you know, kind of pinpoint down how good uh, an actor's going to be um, in the role when they've only been in one episode and especially when it's an episode like this where they're literally post-regeneration they've got the post-regeneration trauma um, they're all a little bit giddy um, she's definitely a bit giddy in this one um, so you can't really get a, f a good feel of how they're going to play the role in the future um, and I do find that with Jodie Whittaker here. I don't think she's at her best in this. I think she's going to... I know she's going to do a hell of a lot better in the role um, in the coming episodes. Probably even next episode, she will be so much better than she was here. Because, see, I like it when the Doctor has this post-regeneration thing. Uh, they're all a bit wacky. They're a bit weird. Every Doctor's really had it. Um, however, you, you don't really get an idea really of how they're going to play the role properly in the future apart from right at the end of the episode we kind of got to see how she was going to play the role um i still don't think she really hit her peak there though i, I definitely think she's going to kind of hone home in on it a bit more she was definitely good in this i mean i already i can say yes jodie whittaker she is the doctor um she definitely there was a couple of moments a couple of great speeches in there actually that really made me think yes she is the doctor she's gonna she's gonna do fine um all that worrying it's whatever, you know, we have this worry every time a new Doctor regenerates, uh, a Doctor regenerates, um, it was a bit more with this one because we were going into a female incarnation for the first time, but, you know, I still enjoyed her, I think she's really, really good and I can't wait to see her in future episodes, I just don't think she's quite reached her peak in this story, um, but that's, that's to be expected, that's not really saying anything bad, that's just to be expected, um, so yeah, Jodie Whittaker, at the moment, I'm liking, I'm liking her, I'm definitely looking forward to more of her. I think she will get better. I know she will get better because she just didn't feel quite right in some of this, but that's kind of what you expect from the first episode of the post-regeneration uh, stuff. Um, other characters, Bradley Walsh um, as uh, Graham. He's pretty good. He, To be honest, he was probably my favourite of the... Because, I mean, he is one of the new companions. You know, there's three new companions. He's probably my favourite so far of the three. Um, funnily enough, you know, when they said that Bradley Walsh was going to be in Doctor Who, I was like, how can he be in Doctor Who? That just doesn't feel right. Honestly, I think his character and maybe even his acting was probably the best of all three of them. Um, he was actually really, really good. Um, now, we get on to stuff with Ryan. I thought Ryan was good. Um, you see, the issue I have, I am I was born in um, in West Yorkshire up north and this is based in Sheffield which is also up north um, and just the feel of there's the obviously because we're up north um, a lot of the characters are northern I mean even the doctor this doctor has a northern accent um, everything feels a bit weird but I think that's that's just me um, but being in the north and you know having a family that watch especially my mum a lot of kind of uh, English and northern soap operas and stuff it almost felt like a soap opera at times this episode, but I think that's because of all the characters and just northernness everywhere, and it's just it's just a bit weird for me, you know. Um, Doctor Who and honestly television in general 
is either southern when it comes to uh, England and the United Kingdom, or it's or you get like Scottish or something, or it's American. Um, you don't really get northern stuff, and if you do, for me, it's, it feels like I'm watching like a soap opera or like you know A and E or something, you know, like the hospital programs. So it's it's a bit strange, but I think that's just something in my head that I need to kind of get used to. Um, and that will definitely get better as time goes on, but yeah, it did feel a bit weird to me. That's why I think Ryan and Yasmin, or Yaz, whatever you want to call her, um, I think her name was actually Yasmin, wasn't it? But they called her Yaz. They did feel a bit strange. They did feel a little bit strange, and even the Doctor to some extent with the Northern accent. It felt a bit weird, but I'm not gonna, that's just me. I think that's just me being a bit weird in that regard. Um, so yeah, I mean, all three of them were pretty good. Also, Grace was her name, Gracie, um, which is Bradley's, uh, Bradley's, I'm going to be calling him Bradley, which was Graham's uh, wife. She was pretty good as well. Um, there will be spoilers in this uh, review, by the way, so if you haven't seen the episode, please, you know, if you don't want spoilers, don't watch the video. Um, but yeah, basically, spoilers coming, Grace ends up dying um, at the end of the story. Now that's one of the things, we'll get onto the plot now, so we might as well. Um, that's one thing that I don't think works in the plot. I don't know why they killed her off. It felt like it was a very unnecessary death, and it just didn't really do much. I mean, yeah, we kind of got to like the character. I will be honest, they did do some pretty good stuff with the characters. You got to like them pretty quickly. But I felt like that death was a little bit unnecessary. I didn't feel like it really did much. She didn't really do anything. I mean, she went to go s save him, but by that point, they'd already defeated um, Tim Shaw or Tom, whatever his name was, the weird teeth blue villain, which was a bit weird, but pretty cool, actually. We'll get onto that in a second. Um, but yeah, it kind of felt unnecessary. She kind of died for nothing, in my opinion, and it was a bit silly. I did like the stuff uh, after that. You know, with Bradley, uh, Bra I'm gonna keep calling him Bradley, oh my god, I need to get this out of my head. With Graham, at the funeral, um, you know, his speech and all that, that was all pretty good stuff. But yeah, did feel a bit unnecessary. Now the plot itself, I thought was pretty decent. Um, as a season opener, series opener, definitely as a kind of post-regeneration story, you know, a new Doctor opener, it's probably one of the best ones, at least in the new series. Um, I don't think it quite gets up there with the 11th hour, but honestly, it's probably on par with Rose. Maybe. Maybe on par with Rose. Um, it's a pretty decent one. Now, the plot is something along the lines, I've only watched it once, obviously, but, um, you know, you've got this these two aliens. Oh, no, I don't think, no, there's only one alien, I think. Um, and it's, I think it's trying to take humans as trophies. It, like, takes them back to its planet, keeps them as trophies, and kind of lets them rot away or something. Uh, pretty gruesome stuff. And that other um, spaghetti-looking alien thing, that kind of weird ball, like rubber band ball, which is a pretty cool design, I will be honest, even though we didn't get a proper look at it. Still pretty cool. Um, that was kind of its information-y thing. I'm not 100% sure. Like I said, only watched it once so far, but... um. I thought the plot was pretty decent. You know, you're never going to get a crazy, crazy plot for the first episode in a series, especially when you're trying to introduce a new Doctor and a whole new cast, um, and you've got whole new writers and everything. You're never going to get the best story, but you know what? I think it did pretty good. Um, so on a whole, that's pretty good. Now, um, all that out of the way, let's talk about the writing. Now, yes, I think the writing for the plot was pretty decent. The plot itself was not amazing, but for a series opener, it's beyond good. You never expect amazingness from a series opener. However, I do think some of the dialogue was a little bit hammy and a little bit cheesy. Um, I don't know what it is. Chris Gibnall probably did most of the writing. He was the head writer for, I mean, he's the head writer for the whole series. I'm pretty sure, well, I'm, I'm pretty much certain that he was the one that wrote most, if not all, of this episode, because it's the first one in his era. Um, and I do think that he he struggles a bit with dialogue. Um, there's just some things that are just a little bit too cheesy and a bit weird. It lets off it a bit because that kind of works with the Doctor, especially in this story where they've you know she's only just regenerated. It kind of works for him to be a bit cheesy and a bit weird. But just the way some of the just the way some of it was written, I can almost put it down to the actors, but I don't think it was the actors. 
I think it was the writing, and it just it just felt a bit strange at points. You know what I mean? If you've seen the episode, you'll, you'll probably know what I mean. It just doesn't feel right. It just feels a little bit strange, not quite right, and just a bit weird. It's really hard to explain. It just doesn't feel right. Um, so yeah, dialogue wasn't great. However, like I said, the writing of the plot itself, pretty decent and pretty dark at times as well. I mean, you know, we've got Tim Shaw, whatever his name was. I like that little joke, by the way. Um, I can't remember what the name of the actual villain was called. It was like it was like something like Tim Shaw or something, but um, you know, not quite that. But the Doctor ended up saying Tim Shaw, like a name, Tim Shaw. It was something like that. I'm not going to get 100% right, I bet. But um, I thought that was a pretty good little joke. There are a couple of good little jokes in there. There are also a couple of moments that I think are supposed to be funny, but aren't. I can't think of any off the top of my head. I've only seen it once, but um, there are definitely a couple of moments that... I, did, I never laughed out loud. I'm not the sort of person that really laughs out loud at anything, to be honest. Um, especially TV shows. But, you know, there was the old moment in here which was pretty funny. Um, and I laughed inside, I suppose. Um, there were other parts, though, that I could tell were supposed to be funny, but weren't. Um, but, yeah, on the whole, though, The Woman Who Fell to Earth, I thought it was a pretty good episode. I actually thought it was pretty decent. I'm, I'm, it's not perfect. Um, if I was going to give it a rating, now, I'm not really sure if I'm going to be... Take my ratings with a grain of salt here, because this is very, very different. The show feels so much different to what it's ever felt. I mean, the transition from Russell C. Davis to Stephen Moffat was different, but not that different. This, this is, this is big. This feels so much different. And actually, while I talk about that, by the way, direction, cinematography, perfect. I mean, the show is looking, like, aesthetically, it's looking better than it's ever looked. It looks amazing. I mean, the villains, the, like the weird uh, electric uh, mothball thing, it looked pretty cool, and there were some really good effects, and the camera work and everything, the cinematography was amazing. The music as well, I thought was pretty good on the whole, um, so I'm definitely excited for what uh, the new composer will bring with music and stuff in the future. So that was all good. Um, so yeah, episode was pretty decent. If I was going to give it a rating, like I said, take it with a grain of salt. I'd probably give it like a 7.5, maybe an 8 out of 10. Um, I thought it was good. The plot was good for what it is. The Doctor's introduction was pretty good. Um, I, lo I love the bit where she's making the sonic screwdriver. I think that's a really, really awesome scene. Um, there is just a bit of dialogue issues in there and a couple of little points like, you know, Grace dying that just doesn't really work for me. But on a whole, I actually quite enjoyed this. So I'm going to say a 7.5 out of 10. That's my current score. That will probably, ch I think by the end of the series, I'll probably go over everything again. I'll do a whole series review and I'll probably individually uh, rank them then. But um, yeah, at the moment, 7.5 out of 10. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video, guys. What did you guys think of episode 1 of series 11, The Woman Who Fell to Earth? Please tell me in the comments below. I'd love to know. Are you excited for episode 2? I definitely am. I'm really excited for what episode 2 and beyond is going to bring. But anyway, that's going to be it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.